Generating leads with cold emails is not easy, but it doesn't mean it's not working at all. Whether you're just getting started or you're not seeing enough results yet, in this video, I will be sharing five tips that will help you generate more leads with cold emails. My name is Youssef and I'm the founder of The Scale Lab where salespeople, just like you, learn the best tips, tools and templates to scale their sales. Firstly, check your deliverability. This is a foundational part of your cold email strategy. Without it, it's like preparing to send postcards without being aware that the post is not working. Here are some indicators for you. If your open rate is below 50%, there is likely a problem. And if you don't know what your open rate is, then there is no doubt that there is a deliverability problem. To check it, you can use mxtoolbox.com to check your domain health and use bouncer.com to verify email list before sending. I'll have both in the description of this video. Number two, personalization. Standing out from the crowd is a matter of personalizing your emails. And at the Scale Lab, we recommend to focus on the quality of your emails rather than the quantity. Because what's the point of sending 1000 emails if you're not getting any results? Changing the first name and the company name is just not enough. 99% of salespeople are already doing it. It's just common sense. And if you want to stand out, I suggest you to 1. Leverage on creative subject types. You can download our free template included in the link below on the description or use icebreakers also called first lines in the very beginning of your email because that's what your prospects will read from you first. Mention something they have achieved or that is unique to their company or to them and avoid the generic hi my name is x I work for y and we offer abc. Number three short is better than long. While it's also tempting to want to say everything to make sure you don't leave anything out, this is probably the most detrimental thing you can do on cold email. Remember, you are reaching out to people who don't know you and most likely do not have time for you. Make your prospects life easier and send emails that never reach more than 100 words. You can use sites like wordcounter.net or your Google Docs word counter to stay within the limit. Number four, your goal. Let me start with some context first. B2B buyers need more than just one touch point to take a decision, and that's especially true when solicited by an unknown person. The same goes for you. When is the last time you bought a service or a software subscription after receiving one email from someone you never heard of? Cold emails are just one step in your funnel. They are top of the funnel, not the finish line. Use them to build a relationship. Number five, automation. If you send each email one by one and copy paste the text, please stop now. You're wasting your time, we're in 2022, and you're likely not tracking open and reply rates. There are far more productive ways to do so, and it's called email automation. Here are the tools I recommend. Lemlist, Apollo, and Woodpecker. The three are in the description of this video and will help you send emails with automated follow-ups, plus keep track of your emailing stats, life and time savers. This is it. You have now in your hands five tips to get you up to speed with cold emails. Deliverability, personalization, maximum 100 words, don't sell, and automation. Over to you with this.